Hi everyone, I finished my travel journal. So I wanted to show you for the lace. I actually showed you guys this lace that I got from Hobby Lobby on clearance a couple of weeks ago. And it had this ruffle here. And I didn't even know that. And then it just goes like this. So I put that on there. It was a little surprise when I opened it. <clears throat> and of course this is the fabric with all different countries and things like that on it um, and it repeats on the back like that I have um, I was going to put the world the globe over here for a charm um, I think I only had one or two I gotta look it might be in another journal too so if it is I should take it off and put it on this one because it'll look better but anyway for the inside, I just have this Tim Holtz cue card. It says travel, and that's stuck in there. And on the back of that, it says create. <clears throat> Let me put this up a little bit. This is my craft desk at work, so on my break. So it's not glamorous at all, but it does the job. And then I have some things I put in here, um, some different words here, and another Tim Holtz thing that says world and time, stick that back in there, and I have, it says shipment collect with a map on it, and I just put all little bits of ephemera on there. And I just stuck those in there like that. And then I left these all blank so that people can, when they go on vacation or, they, you know, wherever they're going or traveling, they can put their photos in these little tucks. So I didn't put anything in the tucks on this one. And it says, and so the adventure begins at Tim Holtz. Um, small talk. Oh, was it small talk? Or oh, the big chat? No, I think it was small talk. <clears throat> I got the Tim Holtz snarky remarks. I can't wait to use that one. That is going to be so funny. And then um, I just have some Tim Holtz tickets here. And of course they can put, you know, whatever they want. This is basically a naked book. Another tuck spot here. This says, scissor is in the way. Oh, this says, always take the scenic route. And it's got little tickets here. And you can just write a little something in there if you want. And then this is a German word that means lake. And um, I just embellished it with a little bit of lace and some kind of I don't know, something else, the button. And I just put some extra fabric from the book on here with some lace that I bought this from Donna Little in one of her paper packs, um, fabric bundles. So I put a little piece of that in the word map. Oh, and I have something to say. We, uh, we are all hauling the, uh, um, Hobby Lobby stores, and recently you saw that I hauled this, the tiles, because I like using them, but what is up with this? This is the paper studio. I don't know what this was. I don't know what brand it was, but look how thin that is, and look how thick this is. I can't put that in a, on a journal. Look how thick that is. I wish I knew that when I was buying it because I wouldn't have bought these. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Some, someone said, one of my subscribers said, oh, I like that you complain. Yeah, I complain a lot. <laughs> this is ugly. That's ugly. Yeah, I'm always doing that. Here's another tuck spot for some photos or notes. And I just have, I just had all these tiny Tim Holtz ephemera pieces. 
And I was like, that'll come to use good use for this journal. So I kind of just did that all along the journal. Just put them all, trying to get rid of them. And I got a globe here. And this is a train. Nope. This is some kind of a ticket. If you leave your seat, carry this with you. And an old camera. I thought that, that was cute. And I just put a picture here. Maybe they're going on vacation, you know. And there's a CF Ender's art store that they might like to go to on vacation. And I just did a fabric flip here with these fabrics. And a little flower on top. And over here, I glued all this on. There's like the luggage and some, some of this fabric here. And... A little tag here with some of the brown fabric on it and then inside here it just says travel the world to find the beautiful and so I just put some buttons because they matched and like I said I'm going through my stash and I'm using up all the things I didn't use granted I'm still going to the store like crazy but I am using stuff <laughs> like this is my button my button thing I made the bow and everything glued it on there and if you look, the buttons are going down. So I am using the stuff. Um, I have some of the um, images here, stamps and postcards and stuff. Um, reserved memories, I put that on there. And then I have a map here of Key West. I was going to just outline it with a map like this and then just leave the inside all open and then just distress all the edges and, and, and put some vintage photo around everything. But I I think I didn't do that because I liked how it said Key West and I wanted to keep that like that. So then I ended, I just put it up like that. Um, and then, you know, I took one of these souvenir views. And I stuck a vintage photo in there. You know, more ephemera, of course. Not a real photo. And I stuck that in there. And just this says baggage room. And on this side, there's one that... It's just like a... Um, oh, it's the new... Hotel New Yorker. So I put that in there. And I got a little plane there. And this is a bag with some more tickets. And I left this so that they can put whatever they want in it. Some more tickets and a postcard here. More tickets and a train check. An airmail thingy. And a letter and something about Orleans. Some kind of fabric thing like that. And we have another one of these and some more tickets. And the journey is the destination. I just left that blank. And we have another family photo. And just a little thingy here. You can write something there if you want. And more tickets and another train check and a ticket to the theater. And they can put whatever they want in that bag. And I just had another hot balloon, air balloon that I stuck there. And this says London. I stuck that on there. And then I did this envelope, which was kind of stupid because I kind of left those the way they were. Now they blend too much in. So I don't know if I should color these in a little bit with some inks or not. I haven't decided yet. And then just a little tag that says life was meant for a great adventure. And again, I got a little button there to use them up. Yeah, even if I outline these with some ground espresso, maybe it'll be better. I might take them off and redo that. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But when I stuck them on, I was like, why didn't I distress those? And another photo here. And another photo here with a boy and his dog. And it says discover and wander. And this is just, uh, um, these are 
this is like a a German word for hotel. I just put just stuck some things in there. Some more buttons. And just another train check and another ticket. And that's basically it for this journal. You know, so usually I do a page, I do a rest page, and then I do something else. Like every other page is a rest page, usually. It's not my style, it's just how I do them. And because they're so small, these are like seven and a half by four and a half. I hate to use, like a lot of you use beautiful papers inside. And I hate to do that because I have to really cut them a lot to fit this size of a journal. And then I'll have all these big scraps left and it's like, what am I going to do with that? And then I'll get all crazy about that. So that's why I just do them like this. It's not a style I have. It just seems like it's the easiest to do. Um, but yeah, I also think they're kind of boring because everyone else uses all these pretty papers. And it's like, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I'm not going to talk about it anymore. <laughs> It's fine. What I do is fine. It's not a big deal. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's my journal for someone's vacation or travel, whatever I wanted to share. So thanks for watching. Happy crafting. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.